Okay, was he armed at all? Any, any weapons? No, I don't know. No? You don't know? You didn't I see him? I don't know. Whereabouts were you? At the back. You were at the back at the time? Okay, yeah. and you came out. What did you see when you came out? He was... Uh, I heard all the shouting and I came out and he was just bashing him and screaming at him and... Okay, what's this guy's name? Uh, Mr. Farmer. Sorry? Mr. Farmer. Farmer? Yeah. Okay, mate. Relax. <laughs> First name. Sam. Okay, Peter, what happened? I'm tired. Yeah, alright. What happened? Max, is everything alright? Can I have a shower, please? You've got a lot of blood. Where is the injury? Where no, no, it's not my blood. Whose blood is it? None of this, this is. You've got it all over you. Can I hear Peter? What's going Peter, on? Peter, like Peter, Peter. Who's. Can I just get clean? Whose blood is it? With uh, blood all over him, we're seeing coming in here. Is he even talking to Maxine? Max, Can you tell me in, how you got that blood all over yourself, down? please? I don't know. You don't know? All right. Could know. you come with me, please, down wait, to the station? I need to ask What's he done? Because he could be involved in a serious assault. Detective, come here, please. Peter, you're going to need to leave the room. Don't take the lawyer. Thank you. Wait, no, no, no. He's in no hurry. Come on, Max. Come on, Max. Come on, Max. He's in no state to make that sort of decision. Could you elaborate on that, please? Jesus, the cooperation's all one way nowadays, isn't it? You're going to let people think this place is off limit to the cops. It's got to use by dates. Mr. Farmer. Oh. I'm a police detective. Uh, cop. <clears throat> How are you feeling? You want the honest truth? Not too crash out, mate. Can you tell me what happened? You tell me. You're assaulted. You're assaulted. If I can, if I can remember it. Bloody thing. I get if I can. Well, you relax for a while. I'll come back and I'll question you another time. Uh, I'm, I run a security outfit. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, we're in the same business. You and me. I keep them out. You lock them up, eh? <laughs> you get the bastards that done this. Give them one for me. Did you get that statement from Farmer? No, he didn't remember much. What about a description? Get a description from him? No, nothing. Okay. I think I've got the bloke that Phil, might have sold him. Phil, I have a bill here for $273 for the Urban Transit Authority? Jeez. Oh, um, okay, listen, Charlie, he, uh, his name's Peter Sims. His next con is out on parole and he's, uh, he's a junkie. Sims. So can you go and talk to him? What, you know him? 
You're gonna have a chat to him, please. Confession will be good. Charlie. Little Charlie. Little Charlie's a cop. You did farmer. It was an accident. Listen, you had farmer's blood all over you. No, look, I mean, I, I never went looking for him, Charlie. All right? I, I was walking down that street and I saw the sign and then I saw him. You know? I remembered. Did I kill him? No, you didn't. Oh, it's a pity. Someone should have killed that bastard a long time ago, don't you reckon, Did you him? ask him for any money? What? Did you demand any money? No, from him? no. Uh, I was yelling at him um, before I started hitting him, but no, I never said nothing about any money. Good. I'll see what I can do for you. You owe me, Charlie. You tell him about Farmer, but you keep me out of Why it. Why don't you tell him about Farmer? If you want me to help you, keep me out of it. All right. Well, how'd you go? Yep. It was him. He did it. He did it. Good. Did you get it on tape? No, I didn't tape it. Why not? Oh. You know, the guy's doped up, he's got no brief. I mean, I just worded him out. Not worth it. Come on, mate, if he's going to put his hand up, you don't give him a second go. Listen, I wanted it to be right, and it wasn't right, so All right. I let it go. Right. Okay. okay, I'll go and interview him. You go and see Farmer and get a statement on paper, will you? I was right about uh, Peter Sims. What? About the name, I did know him. You knew him? Yeah, when he was a kid. Did you? Yeah, he was all right. Yeah. He was okay. So how well did you know him? It's a long time ago. Peter Sims, can we talk about Peter Sims? Uh, I'm his doctor, so yeah, anyway. yeah. So what makes you think I'm going to tell you anything? But what is this, tip for town or something? No, but well, my what? obligation is towards my clients and the centre. OK, well, if you realise that I'm trying to help the poor bastard, then maybe we'll get somewhere, OK? And you want to help him, I want yeah? to help him. All right, what do you want to know? I want to know why he came here, what he... Well, he was looking was he for a bed. Yeah, and? He didn't have one, so we got him into a hostel. And? He didn't last very long. Why not? Well, because he spent too many nights in prison and I think the dormitory made him nervous. All right, so where's he living then? Some squat. Where? Well, I don't know. The names and addresses we get here really aren't that reliable, so... Fair enough. Is he still using of... stuff or what? I don't think so. We got him on the methadone program. I mean, if you can get them off the drugs, you can break the cycle that keeps getting back inside. Did know? he talk about his past at all? No, he didn't. Nothing at all? No. Well, look, he said his childhood was bloody awful, but that's about it. Details? No, no details, nothing, no. He didn't nothing talk. At all. No. He didn't say anything. What's going on? You what? are behaving more like a shrink than an investigating detective. What's Listen, when I get tough with the bastards, you call me a fascist pig. I try it the other way around and I'm not doing my job properly. Okay, what, okay, what do you want from me? Sorry. I can't win. Hey, no, I, I didn't well, mean what, that. Man? I just. What? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. You sure? I'm fine. Because you don't look fine well, and you I'm certainly don't sound fine. I'm in a stressful position in a stressful world. It's a stressful time. Stop harassing me. Get, you you get out of the centre and don't come back. See you, CJ. Nice, man. Right. See you later, Alan. Do you want to explain? 
No. So why'd you go in there? Do you know Mr. Farmer? No, I've never met him before. So why'd you go in? Did you go in there to uh, demand money? No. You sure about that? Yeah. So what, you just got into your head to uh, walk in off the street and start bashing a perfect stranger, didn't you? No. No, I, I asked him for a job. Oh, you went in and asked him for a job? Yeah, he got snaky. He cut up my nose. I lost it, that's all. Is that right? So why did you go in there looking for a job? I don't know. I guess I was feeling a bit confident. This is security fair. And you've got a prison record. Why would you go in there? All right, OK, well, I wasn't thinking straight. History. How old were you? Fifteen. Fifteen? Yeah. Well, listen, I know it's three years ago or so, but we can still do something about this, you know? We can nail these creeps. What do you mean? Well, you were exploited. Fifteen I years old. I wasn't I knew what I was doing. Come on, I got paid great money for it. I would have done it for longer, but the photographer was a sleaze. This is new. But it was then. It was fun, man. I had a good time, you know? I'm so wounded by the whole thing. No, no, I just thought, you know, thought you were exploited, but if you say you were. I do that much, chuck it away. I don't catch crap okay? Doesn't matter. It's a dodgy report, mate. Then we'll do it again. It's charged with aggravated it. assault. Excuse me. Aggravated assault? Yep. Well, he was off his face at the time. I mean, the guy was still on the nod when you brought him in here. Yeah. So? So, he's got no history of violence, that's what's so. Look, the guy's got over 30 convictions, right? Mostly drug-related. He's got no history of violence whatsoever. Now, you know, isn't that some sort of discretion, like a lesser charge? Why? Where, where are you coming from? What I'm saying is that we're just recycling him, OK? We're putting him back in prison, back on the smack. He should be on a program. Jesus, Charles, we should have him on a program. How many, how many hats are you wearing? Aggravated what assault, mate. What is that? Now, no, I'm not a social worker now. <laughs> Come on. Come on, what? I charge him with an aggravated assault. No, he's put a bloke in hospital. I mean, it's pretty simple. Anyway, I reckon his whole story's bullshit. You knew him when he was a little kid. He was OK, and now he's a junkie. Jesus, have a look at the tape. Guess I wasn't thinking straight. So you're thinking straight now? Because I'm finding this a little bit hard to believe. You sure you didn't know Mr... Mr Farmer? No, I told you. I've never met him before. So what about the smack? You know, you were shooting up. Where'd you get the smack from? OK, well, I might be able to jog in memory a bit. You know, maybe somebody had a grudge against Mr Farmer and they came up to you and said, uh, I've got a little job for you, there's a taste in it for you. You do it and you'll get some more. So you went off and you gave Mr Farmer a hiding. No. Cops are cops. What's the point in dragging personality into it? One's her ex-boyfriend, one's her best mate, and you're saying that's not getting personal? So you're saying Maxine's compromised? Yeah, I'm saying we're all compromised. We're not all lawyers, we're not all black and white, Vince. No, I don't think like that. Yes, you do, OK? You don't see me as me, you see me as a girl in a magazine. I am me. What I did before I met you, what I was before I met you, doesn't even matter. It's none of your business. Oh, well, that's, that's how you feel about it, then it shouldn't be a problem to talk about it. And it's not a problem to talk about it, you just don't want to hear it. Oh, yeah, how, how much fun it was. Look, Vince, I don't care about your hang-ups. Just don't lay them on me. OK, well, just, just don't lay any more bloody surprises on me, then. You love having an experienced girlfriend. You just don't like where the experience came from. A bad day yesterday. No, it wasn't too bad, why? The Sims case. The tape of interview is stuffed and your notes are a bloody mess. Uh, I'm not going to embarrass myself by putting those in front of a magistrate. No, um, just I don't know what I was thinking. Just give me some evidence that I can work with. Is that too much trouble? Thank you. Straight 
bugger up my tape of interview. What's going on here? Look, I was trying to cut the guy a bit of slack. I mean, you've done it before, haven't hey, you? Hey, hang on, hang on. Hang on, this isn't about me. This is about you. So what's happening? Well, what? You think something's justified? You bend the rules. We all do what, it. A, a mate of yours comes along? He's not my mate, You give okay. somebody a bit of a biff I call him my mate. I never said he was my mate, no. So you tell me why, why you're willing to put your head on the chopping block, throw away your career for somebody that's not your mate? You but tell I don't him. think that he should go back into prison. If he goes back into prison, he's gonna get back on the dope for sure. What good's that mean? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey? What's so funny? <laughs> What's your problem here? Who's been feeding you this shit? Oh, Maxine, who else? I mean, who else could come up with this sort of bullshit other than Maxine? Hey, wait, 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 wait. sit down, sit down. I haven't finished with you. So what's happening? Is it your uh, gambling problem, mate? Right? Come on. Well, has it got something to do with your gambling problem? I mean, everybody knows about the whole station. Screw the station, my guy. I know about it, the whole thing. Because you know, if you start messing around with, uh, with the evidence, people are going to start asking questions about your motive. They're going to start saying, you know, there must be a drink in this for Charlie. You know, Charlie Look, there's nothing in it for me, OK? There's nothing in it for me. Mm -hmm. I've already told you how it is, all right? I tried to cut the guy a bit of slack, and that's it. I've seen all this before. You know, everybody's got a gambling problem. He starts drinking. His whole family starts falling apart, and he feels trapped. He's right inside. Doesn't see any way out. Is that your problem? Junkies shoot up through the soles of their feet. Maybe I got the betting tickets stuck in my socks. Okay, some guy comes along that you knew as a kid, and now he's a bit of a loser. And you think, oh, okay, I'll help him out here. I'll fix him up. I'll save him. And then by doing that, that makes you feel better. It gets rid of all your problems. Is that how it is? Huh? Is that how it is? I've already told you how it is. All right, well, we're going to go back and we're going to redo the court notes. We're going to fix up the tape. We're going to interview him again. OK, and we're going to do it by the book. You got that? There. Now, if you want to put your head on the chopping block, you go ahead and do it, because there's enough people queuing up for the privilege. But the day you put my head on it. Now, you ever, ever do that to a partner again, and I'll be at the front of that queue with a ten-pound key. You got that? Look, if this is about Peter Sims, I will provide a medical report when and if yeah, he gets a look, lawyer. That's all right. I mean, I'm, I've got my job to do, you've got yours. We're going to tread on each is other's this toes an every now and again. Well, sort of, yeah. Well, how come it feels like my toes are the ones always being trodden on? Okay. Hmm? Well, I just want to talk about Charlie. Then why drag me into it? Well, you were with him. I just thought there might have been a few <laughs> things that you. Know... <laughs> no, no. I was his girlfriend, I wasn't his partner. Well, is there anything that you might have noticed about him that. A major worry. Yeah, we both know Charlie. You know what he's like. He hides things and he finds it difficult to open up and he's obsessive. Is it his gambling? You know he's gambling again. No. Do you think that's got anything to do with it? No. Was he ever violent? What? Well, I mean, I've got to ask these things. You know? No, Charlie... Charlie was very kind to me and he's very gentle and, and he was there for me when I needed both of those things. And he always put me first, Bill. Never himself. Hmm. I didn't know that. Why'd you lie? You said not to bring you into it. Yes, Jim. You could have told him about Farmer without mentioning me. How are they going to crucify you, mate? They don't know anything. Charlie, they don't know. What good would it do? What difference would it make? They're not going to believe me. They didn't believe me then. You know, if you ever get out of this shit, I'm going to put you on a program and get you cleaned up. You hear me? You ever seen anyone from back then? No. Not even your little mate? Not even Pauline? No, mate. She wouldn't want to see me. Well, I wasn't much of a mate to her. Don't sell yourself short, Charlie. I was there, remember? You didn't have that much time for little kids, but you and Pauline, you kept each other going. Don't try and tell me how it is, man. 
You can't remember a bloody thing. You don't know how it was. Your memory's soaked in smack. There were no mates. You can't afford to have mates when you know you're going to let them down. Maybe she is. Shot through. She pissed off the night you got shafted. She's well out of it, eh? <laughs> Listen, are you going to do what I tell you to or not? If you say so, Charlie, yeah. What do you mean if I say so? You've got to do something about it. Okay, he's going to do it again. He's going to get away with it again. That son of a bitch is going to get away with it again if we don't stand up and do something. Let it go. I'm not going to let it go. Right, there's no way I'm Charlie, going to go. I would have wound up back in here anyway. Let it go. What Listen, difference does it make? You're going to tell him you want a lawyer. Right, you're going to tell him you want a lawyer. I'm going to get you a lawyer. You're going to tell him everything about Farmer. You understand me? Yeah. Vince, Peter Sims Don't wants you a lawyer. Knock. You can do it or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. What's it about? Listen, what? if this guy goes in for hitting Farmer, it'd be wrong. It's not right, I'm telling you. There's a lot of reasons, okay? It's all from his past, mitigating circumstances, right? Okay? Yeah. No, you can't go in. You understand? You're going to have to dig for it. You're going to have to get all this information. Yeah, You're going to have right. to drag it out of him, but it's all there. All right. Okay, I swear to you, you use this information properly and you'll get him off. All right, thanks. I was over near the filing cabinet when he come in mm -hmm. and he started screaming at me, abuse. Next thing I know, he's jumped on me, grabbed me around the neck and hit me. Right. It was a lucky punch, I tell you, otherwise he'd been the one in the hospital. Oh, yeah. Right. You can handle yourself pretty well, can you? Enjoy being the old buffet, do you? It's not a matter of enjoying it. You don't get to run a business like this without them knowing how to look after yourself. Right. Okay, all right. So, so he came in while you were at the filing cabinet, yeah. he grabbed you around the neck yeah. and he smacked you around a bit. Yeah. Okay. What happened then? He asked for money. He demanded money. 3,000 bucks. He demanded money, did he? Oh, yeah. 3,000? God. Well, why didn't you tell me about that yesterday? I just had my head punched in. And I'm telling you now, I want that Sims bastard put away. So how, how do you know his name's Sims? Because I didn't mention any names here. Well, only since he was a kid. He was a violent little maggot then. So you knew Sims when he was a little kid? Yeah. Did you know Farmer ran a home? Peter Sims was in when he was a kid? No. No? It's all here. His first conviction. Assault. For some reason, they don't have the victim's name here, but it was Farmer. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Farmer reckons that uh, Sims tried to demand some money from him, 3,000 bucks. <laughs> so we have to charge him now with attempted robbery. <coughs> it's pretty funny. Didn't seem to remember much yesterday. No, he didn't. Maybe he's lost. Bill, my office. Maybe he is. Ah, detective. Come to make sure I get to court on time, eh? Come to talk to you about your evidence. Ah. I've got my story word perfect. Don't you worry about that. Yeah, well, I want to make sure you're 100% about Peter demanding money from you. Oh, you think he's got a brief that might be able to shake me on that? Not a chance, detective. See, I know the law. Demanding money turns assault into robbery. Well, that's the thing. The, uh, the last thing he needs is another prison sentence. Right, if he goes back inside, all that's going to happen to him is going to get back on heroin. Now, if you're not 100% sure about the fact that he demanded money from you, hey, hey. it would be a totally different situation. Are you trying to get me to let him off the hook? I didn't say that. What are you saying? What I'm saying is that it's no use if he goes back inside. It's not going to do anyone any good. It's not? Well, let me tell you, it's going to give me immense satisfaction. I mean, I'm the victim here, detective. But I'll be able to wake up every morning and think about that little beggar rotting in a cell. That's pretty fair compensation. Have you already done enough? Hey, what? I said, haven't you already done enough? You beat him as a child. You brutalised him. You're responsible. You are responsible for everything that he is today. You institutionalised him. Isn't that enough already? Oh, you can't talk to me like that. How dare you? Isn't that enough? I'm going to complain about this. It's going to cost you your job.
Holy shit. Holy oh, shit about it. Farmer? What about Farmer? Can you get him? Look, I, I don't know what I can do. You haven't told me anything yet, mate. All I know is you told the police you assaulted this man. Look, I need you to help me here. Why did you hit Farmer? What did he do to you? He never did nothing to me. You got that? Nothing. I was older. I was bigger. He couldn't bluff me. So nothing? He did nothing? Yeah, I'll tell you what you want. Just please don't shout anymore. Please. Why did you hit Farmer? The little kids. No, he wouldn't no. touch the oh, little I, kids. Oh, you, I was oh right. Around. You're talking about the home. Um, couldn't be around all the time. What did he do? Did, was he like, did he hit him? Was he into punishment? He did whatever he want, mate. They'd been given to him. Tell me, Peter. What do you mean, given? They were mostly little kids. Uh, their families were gone or didn't give a shit like mine. Uh, you know what that's like? No. Uh, you ever had a grown-up go you when you were a little kid? You never had your hand slammed down on a hot plate? You never had your face rubbed in shit? Never had a grown-up drop your strides and tell you the facts of life? No, no, wait a minute. What? This is a big charity organisation. Are you telling me nobody knew? No one wanted to know? No events to know, all right? People came, uh, they stayed 20 minutes, they went. No one talked. No one talked? Uncle Sam was God, all right? When you're a little kid and God comes for you, you either fight or you shit yourself. I fought, but he got me, didn't he? Hey. <laughs> What did he do to the others? Sometimes it was sex, sometimes it was hurt. Uncle Sam got his rocks off both ways. I could fight back, so he set me up. He was going a couple of the younger kids. He knew I'd go ape. I went him, he called the cops. That was it for me. You'll get him now, won't you, Vince? Well, I can tell the magistrate that you and Farmer have a past relationship, and I can say that you were damaged by institutionalization. You blame Farmer for everything that's happened to you. But Peter, I can't tell him but about I the kid. But I told you. I, but I believe you. They probably believe you. But it's not evidence, Peter. It wouldn't stand up. Hey. Well, hey. You give me something then. Some evidence. Give me got something. None. Got none. None. See, you got nobody that can back this story up. Nobody. No, nobody. No one been sorry, mate. I thought I knew Peter Sims. I was bullshitting myself, Jerry. I can't even comprehend the suffering that man has been through. And now he's sitting in a cell, all because of that. I am. I am. I've been a, I've been a bloody hypocrite. You know, you in those photos? I mean, you know, you tell me that you did it for a bit of a laugh and a few bucks and you came out with no scars. Would you be thanking God for that rather than making moral judgments about your life? I'm, I'm really sorry. You know what? I was 15 and I was a dickhead. You know, it wasn't that great. I know I was being used. Charlie, what, what are you doing? I'm sorry. You okay? I've lost her, Max. And 
one of the last two best, they lose. You know, they won't even give cops credit down at the TAB. You think they didn't want the business? Sure. Yep, I'll let you down again. I'm a disappointment. You know, you can't go on like this forever. You can't keep doing this. Go on, say it. What? Say it. What? Tell me to go home. Actually, I wasn't going to say that. Can you just help me get through the night? Until tomorrow. His name's Sims, Peter John Sims. Uh, his first offence was for assault. When he was a juvenile, they put him in Mount Penang. Huh? Uh, 14 years ago. Yeah, you know, what I need is a statement record of interview. Can you get that across to me, ASAP? That'd be good. Okay, thanks. Max, I just want to apologise for last night. Okay. Don't worry about it. Honestly, you would have done the same pathetic. for me. It was pathetic. Don't okay. worry about it. You, you might have to do me, the same. Me, I want to crawl to you because I did a few bucks. I mean, what is that? That's ridiculous, okay? My apology. No. Can you just accept my apology? I just can't stand by and, and watch what you're doing to yourself. I can't, I can't. I really don't need a shrink. Okay, if you want to play shrink, find another patient. Maybe you can compare notes with Bill. You know what, I don't You've get it. You've probably already done that. No, I don't get it. If you don't, if you don't trust me, why did you bother to turn up here? I made my apology. What are you getting witnesses to change their evidence now, are you? I was farmer bullshitting about that as well. You know who's lodged a complaint? Now, if you want to be my partner, you better come straight with me here, or you're in deep shit. I suppose the boss is waiting for me, is she? Mate, I've bought you a bit of time. I've talked to her. All you have to do is start telling me what's going on. Because I'm going to find out sooner or later. Hey, Charlie. Peter Sims pleaded guilty. He got two years. That's good. Well, it's a result. Yeah. So well done. Thank you. Two years, you useless bastard. He got two years, mate. Two years! Hey, hey he was down for five. I don't give it's a, a shit miracle he that he got a reduction. Five. Get out Did of my face. Do you even bother talking Get to him? Get out of my hey, face. Maybe I should have got a real lawyer. Maybe we should have got him a real lawyer who knew what he was doing. He gave Not me an nothing. amateur. He gave I told me nothing, you you'd have to drag you it out of him. You gave me nothing. I told you you'd have oh, to drag it out of him. Oh, I did all of it. And I wish that I'd never heard it. Oh, you call that because justice? Because I couldn't do anything about it. You call that justice? It's not about justice, Judge. What do you call It's about evidence. Evidence. Who am I talking to? Has Peter told you the same story as me? I'm sure he has. And he's probably told Bill. Now, what are you two doing? If you really believe him, what are you doing? I got him down from five to two. You don't understand. I owed him. What? What are you I doing? Charlie. Look, look, Charlie, if, if you can find someone to back up his story, then so I can what appeal. What the hell is going on in here? No justice, mate. That's what's going on. We all let him down. Well, you don't release personal files, detective. They're confidential. Let me explain a couple of things to you, OK? Peter Sims was convicted with two years in prison on assault on Mr Farmer. 
Now, when Peter Sims was a child, he was an inmate at the home, which um, was run by Mr. Farmer. We Farmer's. prefer family member. Well, I prefer inmate. Now, some serious accusations have been made against Mr. Farmer concerning the treatment of the children that were in his care, and I'm here to investigate. Can I see your credentials, please? Yeah, you can see my credentials. There's my credentials right there. Okay. I'm not going to give you access to any documents. I am going to discuss this with your superiors. So what do you think? You're just going to bury your head in the sand over this? Do you think it's just On the contrary, go away? we've already agreed to cooperate with police inquiries. I had a request by phone from a Detective Sergeant Bill McCoy for Charles Custis Farr. That's you, isn't it? You just said to me that you don't release personal files. I don't know what your agenda is, Detective. I'll tell you what my agenda is. This is the truth. The truth. Do you understand? You know I was there. OK? I'm telling you that you're protecting a monster. Do you have any proof? I don't I think I am so. the proof. I am the proof. Please. Me and all those kids Please that were there leave. year after year. The things that that bastard did to them. Hey, you think we're going to forget that? What, do you call that acceptable? What, you think I'm just going to walk out of here and we're going to accept it and it's just going to go away? You're going to make this <laughs> going to go away? Where's Mr. McCoy? Uh, he's out at Long Bay interviewing a prisoner. Sure he it? wasn't here for me to call him a backstabbing son of a bitch. It's what he is. It's okay, I'll just leave it up to the boss. What are you doing? What's going on? Okay. Okay, you can call it extended leave, call it a resignation, call it what you like. You were charged with assaulting Farmer when you were 16. Yeah. And there's a young boy aged 11 years that backed up that statement. Now, that was Charlie Kustos. Yeah, he's just a little kid. OK, well, what's, what's going on between you and Charlie? I mean, all I know that he's, he put his name to a statement that put you in Mount Penny. Farmer likes guns, OK? He uh, always kept one in his office drawer. Well, when he felt like a bit of fun, he'd uh, get some kid in there and he'd take out the gun. Oh, yeah, Mr McCoy, he'd make the kid eat the gun. He'd stick the barrel in the kid's mouth, cock the hammer, then tell you what a worthless piece of shit you were, how you didn't deserve to be alive, and how no one would give a shit if you weren't. He got off on it. I mean, it was never loaded, but every kid in that home thought it would be one day. So have you ever told this story to anybody else? You know, what he, what he did to you kids? No, 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 he didn't do it to me. He did it to Charlie. He was always after the good kids, see? Uh, especially Charlie and his mate Pauline. Farmer couldn't keep his hands off the little girls, Mr McCoy. Well, he knew I wouldn't wear it. And that was my first mistake. So you, you reckon that Charlie helped Farmer set you up? No, 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 no. If Charlie signed that statement against me, he probably did it with the barrel of Farmer's gun in his throat. Please! Hold it! You stay right there! You come with me! What? Samuel Farmer, you're under arrest! What you... Right now. You stay out of it! It's a police matter! Get over to the car now! Where are we going? Get in the car! We're going home. Hey, Mr McCoy. Yeah? You going after Farmer? Yeah, I am. Can you tell Charlie something for me? Yeah, what? Can you tell him it wasn't his fault, all right? Uh, you tell him I was unlucky, and then after that I just stuffed up. You're one of them, aren't you? Hey? You from the home? Doily, you're saying Charlie? Be quick. Be quick. Be quick. Hey, Bill. What's going on with Charlie? You know where he is? No, I don't. It's about as gambling, is it? No, I think it's much deeper. I'll find him.
down there. Get down there. Move it. Please. What's going on? You remember little Charlie? Hey, you remember little Charlie, Mr. Farmer? took Peter away? Charlie, get your hands in the dirt. Get your hands in the dirt. You son of a bitch, you made me lie to the cops. You made me lie to the cops and they took Peter away. Let's see. What happened after that, hey? Eh? I'll tell you what happened after that. You wouldn't have got pissed and you started celebrating, didn't you, huh? You said that Pauline ran away. You said that Pauline ran away, didn't you? Yeah. Hey, late that night I was up at the window. You thought I didn't see you walking down here. What were you carrying in your arms, huh? What were you carrying in your arms? Oh, yeah, so sick. now I want you to dig. I want you to dig with your bare hands! Oh. Dig! Start digging! No. Start digging! Who do you think you are? You miserable little shit! You can't do this! You're a cop! No! no. Open your mouth. Huh? Open your mouth. Oh. Just to make all the little kids open their mouth. Oh. Charlie. Charlie, take the gun out of his mouth, please. Detective! Come on. Piss off! Come on, Charlie. What are you doing here? Piss off! Take the gun. Let the gun go. Come on. Suck it. Suck it, you son of a bitch. Come on, suck it. Take the gun. Piss off! Charlie, take the gun out of his mouth. Come on. Just take the gun out of his mouth. No, it's not your fault. Peter said to tell you it's not your fault. Come on, mate. Think about it. Detective! He's insane! Just, this was give me attempted the gun, murder! Okay, give me the Abduction. gun. Just give, me, start digging. give me the gun, Charlie. Thank you. He's mad. Okay, what's this all about? He's gone mad! What's it all about? 14 years ago, he buried something here. He buried something here 14 years what ago. What did he bury? What's your bury? There's a body in there. There's a body in there. Okay. If we start digging, we'll find a body. Dig. Dig. Just, um, Dig in! Stay back, man. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Stay back, man. Come on. He said that you ran away. After what he did to her, she couldn't run. I barely even walk. We said we'd look after each other. I let her down. Samuel Farmer, I'm charging you with the aggravated sexual assault and murder of Pauline Yates, aged 11 years. <laughs>